Hello again, Simon Keeling here, and this is the latest version of the videos I'm trying to put together. Today's is really about trying to see if I can get these charts to look a little bit better on the screen and give you an idea of some of the forecasts that would be issued. Obviously, it's Monday today, so this is a sample of a forecast that will be issued for sailing on a Monday. Now, also, you'll notice on these maps that I've uh, introduced a very close up regional wind forecast uh, for the Channel and also for Wales and East Anglia. Now, don't panic those of you who are outside the area. This is just to see if there's a case as well for a regional forecast. So please do keep on uh, letting me know what you think. So many of you replied last time. I really appreciate it. Please do get your emails over to me when you finish watching the forecast. Let's have a look at well, what's going on. First of all, this week it's a case of change over time because we are going to be going from the uh, mild conditions that we've had over the past few days with high pressure centred towards the south. A change by the end of the week looks as if it's going to be coming in as much colder Arctic air comes in from the north. Now, it's actually not bad sailing additions across the south uh, for the next couple of days, but I do think come Thursday things are getting a little bit hairy. We've got gales widespread across the country. By Friday, I think, the north probably sees the worst of conditions and the south becomes a little bit better. So this is the pressure chart then for midday on Tuesday. You see the cold front coming southwards. Generally, the winds ahead of that are southwesterly. It's at about force 3, locally force 4, a little bit of cloud coming up the channel. That front becomes slow moving as it moves through Wales and northern England. I don't think really moving much beyond this position you see here during daylight hours on, uh, on Tuesday. Now that means that we could see some heavy bursts of rain I think coming through parts of Wales and south west England during the course of Tuesday. Also some fog drifting into south west England and Wales too making visibility poor. I think through the channel again it's a case of more broken cloud, one or two fog patches possible but generally quite dry. Towards the north it's brighter through Scotland with some showers but becoming windier. Look at the winds towards the western parts of Scotland, the isobars closer together there. So westerly is probably about a five, locally six around the northern coast of Scotland during the course of uh, Tuesday afternoon. Now, if we take a zoomed in view, this is a look at in detail at the winds through the channel. You can see here that uh, we've got generally south westerlies at about 10 to 15 knots through the channel during Tuesday. But you can just see that wind change taking place to a northwesterly over the Cardigan Bay area. OK, on to uh, Wednesday and a slight change. We've got that cold front look moved its way southwards overnight. It's now into the northern parts of France. We've got north to northwesterlies following behind through the channel and probably some breezy conditions, though, coming in through the Irish Sea and also through western parts of Scotland, where I think we could see some gusts of gale force during the course of the day. Those cold fronts towards the north bringing some pretty hefty showers across northern and central parts of Scotland. Some blustery winds as well as they clear through, probably up to gale force in places and that secondary front that's following into the west of Ireland also bringing further gusts of wind to gale force in the afternoon through Ireland and also western Scotland. A closer in look at the uh, forecast for the channel winds down you can see that they've gone round into the north at around 10 knots perhaps 15 knots in the extreme east and also the extreme west so that's getting up to around a 4 to uh, possibly low end of a 5 but I can't see it getting into a 5 I'd say more generally around about the 4 level. The winds then turn westerly through the Cardigan Bay area, going into a westerly about 12 to 15 knots around Force 4 there. But you can just see as we get into the Irish Sea, the stronger winds there, west to west south westerlies, 20 to 25 knots, about Force 5 to Force 6. And Thursday looks completely different. Just look at that low pressure north of Scotland. Look how many fronts are on the charts. There'll be cloud and heavy rain sweeping eastwards. Widespread gales as well through many areas. The winds generally west to west southwesterly, but becoming west to northerly look through western Scotland by the time we get through to the late part of Thursday afternoon. And that's that much colder air arriving. Onto the channel, look at those swings southwesterlies at about 35 to 40 knots. So southwesterlies at gale force 8. Don't think you'll be going very far, or rather you would be going far if you sailed in those. And then finally, on to Friday. Conditions now have completely changed. Those cold fronts have moved through. Low pressure off Scandinavia. And really, we're now into an Arctic maritime air mass. That means that we get clear skies, but we also get some pretty hefty wintry showers coming down around the coasts. Northern and eastern Scotland and northeastern parts of England particularly prone to those, I think. The winds have gone into the northwest. 
generally around 15 to 20 knots, so a force 5 across much of England and also Wales. But you can still see those strong winds for northern and eastern Scotland. There we've got north to northwesterlies blowing at about 35 knots. That's up to gale force 8 and gusts to force 9 at times. A closer look at the channel, we west to west northwesterly at about 20 knots, so probably around a force 6, becoming more northwesterly later in the day, around force 4 to force 5, and now I think the fewest of the channels of the uh, showers through the channel as well. So there you go, just a reminder, let me know, send your emails in and uh, tell me about what you think of the video. Spread it around as many of your friends as you can and, and let me know what they think as well because it's really important to try and get this right for you before the sailing season, season starts. Thanks for watching.